What's going on guys? Um, today um, I was building this event calendar and I figured it would probably be a good time to do another video on this um, since this is kind of a cool thing that you don't usually do in WordPress but um, in this specific scenario um, this is what they wanted and um, I wanted to show you guys how I would go about doing this. Um, so basically what it is is they have this event calendar that um, a user can come on the site and view a specific um, day to see if there's anything going on uh, for that specific day. So if I click the 29th here, you can see there's three events that come up. Um, this is happening via um, Ajax over here in WordPress. Um, and yeah, that's basically how this is working. Um, but they want the ability to basically um, let the users submit an event. So they don't want to be adding the events. They want all of these to be user submitted. And basically they want it to be in a pending status until they approve it. So, um, you know, not anybody can just post something and it will show up. So they need that approval step as well. So um, basically I've created this little modal right here. Nothing in it yet. Um, just a bootstrap modal. And we basically want to add a form right here that will allow the user to submit an event. So what this looks like on the back end is what um, we've got a, where is it? An events custom post type right here. So we wanna submit a form to this custom post type and basically just have it in the status of pending. Um, so the way I'm going to do that is I use gravity forms on pretty much every site that I use. So in this specific case, um, it does work pretty well, so I'm just going to use that. So basically, I have Gravity Forms right here, and then right here, there's another plugin called Gravity Forms plus Custom Post Types. So this basically gives you the ability to change the post type when, when you're creating that form to say we want it to go to the Events Custom Post Type, and then from there, we can select the custom fields that are going to be entered. So uh, first thing we need to do is we need to create a, a new form. So we're going to do add, uh, or let's do create event. Okay, so we basically need to know what the structure looks like for the custom post type. So let's take a look here. So we need to know, like, for instance, we need to know this. This is a title right here of the actual post. So for instance, we'll go to post fields custom field, post custom field right here, or sorry, no, it's going to be the, the title. And then right here, we're going to change this to, so I've got uh, the design, where's the design down here? So this is basically what we're going to have it look like. Uh, so we need that event name, and so as you can see when you edit an event, the event name's right here. So we want to call that event name right there. Um, that is going to be required basically and then right here is where we can select uh, what post type we want to submit it to so in this specific case we want to submit it to the events so right there we can select events appearance we want to add a placeholder of event name okay and then what's the next one the date so then we've got the date right there so here's the other thing um, I used all of these custom fields right here. I built all of these custom fields with um, the plugin called Advanced Custom Fields. Very powerful plugin. Um, I use it for pretty much every site. So we go to the event info. And basically we need to be populating the data from the form into these, uh, these fields. So the first one is, a, is date. So it's a date picker. Uh, yeah, right there. So we need to do um, custom field. So this is going to be just date. And then we're also going to change this to a date advanced field right there. Um, and then right here, this is where we select the custom field name. So you can see over here, it's called date. I probably should have named these like event underscore date. So they were a little more unique than this. Um, but uh, I've already got data in there, so I don't want to change the structure of it. And so date, and that's actually, that should be fine. Date picker, 
Yep. So as long as it's going to be submitting in the same format that this accepts, we're good. So, or sorry, this one. Yeah, so that format right there. As long as it's submitting like that, we should be good. So time is just a text field. So now we're going to do another one, custom field. Um, it's just time. And then we're going to do single line text. And we're going to do time right here. Whatever time is right there. And then, um, yeah, that's also required. The date is going to be required. Um, the event category. So this one, as you can see right here, this one is a uh, radio field. So we do custom field, uh, radio buttons. And then we're going to um, select, just call category. It's right there. We basically, you just need to copy these over real quick. right or down mm, I think they're gonna be going down for this example it's not really important that we style it but uh, let's add another one see so if color a library So that's good right there. Um, yeah, I don't believe that one's going to be required. Um, then we need an event image, and that's just called image. Is that going to be a, what is it, a file select, right? Yep. So that's going to be like that. Oh, wait a minute. File upload. Whoops. There we go. Now this one's going to be uh, image then. Allow file extensions. Yeah, so I'll just put all of these. Enable multiple files. No, we just want one. Uh, it's not going to be required because we'll have a default image if not. And the description. So. Paragraph. Let's just call it description, and that is required. Uh, we'll call it event description and info. This one is event image. update the form and there was one thing that we missed I believe so okay so right here we're basically saying um, submit the form to the events custom post type and put it in a specific sat status so we want to put it in pending review so that whenever the uh, and we can also send the cool thing about uh, gravity forms is that we can also send a notification via email to both the user that created this, um, actually, no, we can't because they are not giving their email here. We can send a notification to the uh, whoever's managing the website, so to a specific email address, so they know every time somebody um, submits an event, so they can go approve it. So we'll update that form there. So now what we need to do is we need to actually embed the form in that modal. So it has an ID of three. Um, I actually have the code here already. Um, it's commented out right here. So this is how you embed a gravity form. They've got documentation online that you can go and grab that. So I just saved that. I'm waiting for it to... Oh, did it do this thing? Okay. Okay. 
Dang. Okay. So as you can see, it is there, but it isn't uh, <laughs> styled at all. But uh, that's not important. We'll, I'll do that at a later point. But uh, what is important is that everything is here. Um, we embedded it. We can style this, obviously. So I'm just going to do test event. Pick a date. Uh, time. I'll do uh, 10 a.m. I'll say it's for the city of Keller. I uh, won't upload an image right now, and this is a test description. So what, what is the date for it right now? Uh, let's, do, let's do January 1st. First, all right. Oh, man. Oops. January 1st. Okay. So that looks good right there. I'm going to submit it. Thanks for contacting us. We will get in touch with you shortly. So obviously, that's not right either. Um, so I'm, I'll just go ahead and change that right now. You go to the confirmations, and then you just edit that. So I'll say something to the effect. Well, let me just copy what I did for the other one here. Nope. Confirmation. Thank you for submitting your promo. So for now, I'll keep it to that effect. They can change it later if they'd like. Um, that's fine. So now, um, we could have sent an email. That's not really set up yet, I don't believe. Uh, it is, but I don't know if emails work on my server right now. Um, now you can go to the, to the events section, and now you can see we have the test event pending. So there it is. So all the info that we initially submitted right there, remember January 1st, 10 a.m., City of Keller, this is the test description. So we have all of our info there. Now, if I approve it, I can publish it right here. And that's done, it's live. So now I can refresh this page to January 1st. Oh, well, it's not working. It's interesting, I wonder why. Did it actually submit? Am I missing something or? Let me try changing the date on it. Maybe the date's an issue. Maybe the year is the issue. Well, there it is. I have something wrong with my code where there is an, a yearly issue, as you can see. But um, the event is now showing, um, so that's really cool. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If this helped you at all, let me know. Uh, if you got any other questions, this is obviously just one way to do it with Gravity Forms. Um, uh, I haven't really looked at any other ways to do it just because this has worked well for me in the past. So um, if you guys have any other suggestions on how you could do this, let me know. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching.